right guys out with the old in with the new so really it's not going to be a whole lot of changes to the panel here I'm just going to be replacing the C11GS with the C25XP and the Ethernet Spooze Stepper by Warp 9 so I'm going to be doing that and then adding the relays I've got that new panel I'm going to put in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically go ahead and remove all of the uh, old stuff and then I'll mount this and get this put in so let me get all this taken out and then we'll get started now for me this is not such a big deal I know for some people they are like oh if I remove all those wires I'm never going to get them back to where they go but really if you take the wires one at a time you'll be able to just connect them right back up it's not, uh, it is going to be a pain because all of these like power wires control wires that go up to the control box uh, there's not a connection there. I should have put a connection there to th now uh, that I go back and think about it. However, I didn't do it at the time because I never thought I'd have to unhook it. So this is the third time I've been in this box now since I did the initial wiring and it would have been nice to have a connector there, but hindsight. Another thing is this disconnect. Uh, I've started building this in 2016 I think so about four years ago I built this cabinet uh, anybody want to guess how many times I've turned that off uh, exactly so that was about thirty dollars I spent on that disconnect switch that I could have just did without uh, really I just unplug it from the outlet and I've removed all the power so it's a lot easier to get to the outlet than it was to that disconnect so I've never actually used it just some uh, things to think about when you're building the panel now technically you should have a disconnect on this panel by code and all that but um home shop you know doesn't really matter you can just unplug it all right guys so I'm just gonna go through here remove all this stuff and we'll... all right well I've got the old panel torn out and I've installed the new panel and I've went ahead and reconnected everything that is not really going to change uh, with the installation of the C25XP uh, and the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. I just reconnected the two outlets for the coolant and the computer and monitor, uh, reinstalled the fan, and connected the control panel power cable and also the power up to the box. Now I still have all of my VFD wiring and uh, this is the wiring for my solid state relay still got all that stuff disconnected and I'm at the point now where I'm going to uh, go ahead and mount my DIN rail for the C25 XP now I mentioned to you guys in the earlier video uh, about the C25 XP and this is the integrated circuit board that you use in conjunction with the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. Uh, this is the beta tester that Arturo sent me. And before I could get this installed, uh, he told me about some changes that he was going to make where he was just going to rearrange some of the things on the board, make it a little bit cleaner, and also have it labeled a little bit better. Um, he does have the board labeled down here. However, when you slide it, into the DIN mount you lose all of these you lose all of the indications of what these are so I went ahead and just labeled this but uh, it's not very pretty but it gets the job done so Arturo sent me the updated version of the CX25 XP and I like it a little bit better uh, it's a lot nicer a couple of features that are really nice on here so first off he's got the whole board covered here and uh, he's what he did what he moved the 0 to 10 volts that was on the side here and he moved it over here to where the relays are just like it is on a C11GS so that that's a little bit nicer because now you know exactly what they are 
you're not any uh, there's not any confusion there because before you had your axis pins here you had a common then you had a ground that was used for the uh, spindle and so now he's moved that over to the side here also the potentiometer has been moved over to the corner and he took these four outputs here for port 2 and stuck them right here so I think overall that's going to be a, a little bit nicer um, also he's got these LEDs that will now they'll shine up onto the cover here and you can see them real nice he's just put these uh, clear plastic standoffs here so that they'll uh, illuminate the LEDs up top so that's really nice other than that the board is pretty much the same uh, there's nothing really uh, functionally it's not any different he just rearranged these thing and and made a nicer cover now he did say when he sent me this that this was uh, may not be the exact look of the new cover so any future covers may look a little bit different but uh, he was rushing to get me one of these uh, so that I didn't have to install the old one and then put the new one in so thanks Arturo for getting this out to me really quick so we're going to be using a warp 9 ethernet smooth stepper uh, a couple of things that I want to point out we're going to be powering the Ethernet smooth stepper with the C25XP. So we want to put the jumpers on port 1 and the pin 26 jumper. These are pin 26 jumpers. We're going to install the jumper for port 1 and port 2. Uh, the ports are labeled here on the back 1, 2, and this is port 3. Now, port 3 we're going to be using for our relays. Uh, this is for our power draw bar, our slide, uh, possibly the coolant. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to just continue to use my solid state relay for the coolant or uh, put it on the relay board. And then I'm going to be using three relays for a stack light. Now originally I wasn't going to install a stack light Steve asked me to that he he wanted to put a stack light on his machine so he asked me if I would wire that show the wiring for that so I'm going to do that. This jumper here is your configuration jumper. It does not need to be on. If you put that on, it's going to reconfigure your Ethernet smooth stepper IP address and you don't want to do that. So leave that jumper off. And that's pretty much it. Um, the Ethernet smooth stepper just plugs directly on the board here. like so cover will just pop on here and then we just have a couple of screws here to button this up now on port 3 here I'm gonna have a ribbon cable that's going to transfer over to the relay board now I'm going to be using a M26 relay board and uh, it's currently on its way so when it gets that when I get that here we'll talk about that so let me get this buttoned up we'll get it into the DIN connector we'll get it in here and I'll get it mounted once I get this mounted we can start doing a little wiring on the CX25 XP okay guys so I've got my Got my M26 relay board mounted in here and it will go to port 3 on the C25 XP with just a ribbon cable here. And then this will allow me uh, to operate uh, three relays for the stack light, uh, one relay for the power draw bar, another relay for the uh, extend and retract for the ATC, and I can use one of these relays for the uh, flood coolant as well. However, I've got my original solid state relay here, so it's already wired in. I'm just going to leave this for my flood coolant. Uh, there's a lot of extra relays that I'm not going to need, but that's okay. I think overall it fits in here really nice, and, uh, and it looks really good. So, And it eliminates having to have 
uh, a relay board and an extra breakout board. So that worked out really nice. Uh, they're not that expensive as well. The, the relay board there is about $40, I think. Uh, the C25 XP is around 100 and then you've got the Ethernet Smooth Stepper underneath, which I think is around $190, something like that. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just wiring in these pigtails or trying to bring them, actually bring them into the box. So I've, I've just got these stuck in here. They're not clipped, but this is my X motor power, Y, Z, A, and C motor power. Uh, down here at the bottom, I've got my X, Y, and Z home sensors. Now, for this build, I'm not changing my mechanical home sensors for the X, Y, and Z. So they're going to just be wired in basically the same as uh, they were before. It's just a mechanical switch for these. The A home sensor and the C home sensor will be uh, they'll be proximity sensors or infrared sensors. So they're three wire so they're wired a little differently. So we're going to just bring those into the board here on port 2 and then I've also got in my pigtail here this is for my D sub connector that goes out to the ATC. So I've got, I don't know if you can see that, so I've got uh, all the wiring going to the D sub connector which would be uh, 0 volts, 5 volts, 24 volts, negative and positive for the power, uh, uh, for the slide solenoid. I've got my ATC, uh, retract, extend and home. These are for my three proximity sensors there, or two proximity sensors for the extend and retract and an IR sensor for the home. So these three are inputs and they're all going to go back to the board. Uh, the C home here, we've got our extend and retract here, our low air pressure and our foot switch that's going to be on a different uh, aviation plug. And down here we have our slide uh, solenoid. That's just the relay there. So that's another separate pigtail. And then our foot switch. Alright, so this is my cannon plug for my power draw bar, my low air, a foot switch to manually change tools, and this is a 5 volt. So these two right here will go to the 5 volt source on the C25 XP down here. Uh, then we have our foot switch. This is the input. Uh, going here, then we have our low air, which will go here. These are all inputs. And then this is our power draw bar. This connects to our relay. And uh, this will send 24 volts out to the solenoid, and then this is just a return. So these two will just get wired into a relay. So I made this little pigtail up. This uh, these are separate from the ATC. So that's going to go into here. And then uh, also made up another pigtail here. This is for my stack light. So I've got power 24 volts, then I've got yellow, red, and green. So these will also go to relays and then uh, out to the uh, stack light to operate that. So we've got our stack lights here, our power draw bar, and our slide relay. So that's how I've got those wired in. So I think I've got all of the harnesses and pigtails made up to start doing the wiring. And I think what I'll do is I'm just going to break these videos down into, they'll be really short, but they should be really easy to research if you want to just look to see how I wired up my stack light, for instance. I'll just do one stack light wiring, one for the ATC wiring, home sensors, motors, 
maybe that'll be easier to kind of uh, follow along. All right, guys. Listen, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down here below. Uh, that way when I post a new video, they'll send you an email letting you know. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in the C25 XP or the M26 relay board, you can find those on cnc4pc.com, and I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.